We are live. Happy Wednesday. Believe Nation, Wednesday is my project day. So one day per week to work on whatever project I want to work on. And it, I forgot to even post to my stories really today because it's just been nonstop uh, diving in today on my YouTube channel. So I had a meeting with my team. We are hiring four to five new positions just to work on my YouTube channel. It's crazy. Uh, good time to be alive. Uh, but I haven't really been focused on IG content yet because it's just been nonstop working on, uh, on, on projects. So again, one day per week to work on whatever project I want to work on, uh, just to have the flexibility and freedom. You know, Tuesdays are crazy with filming videos, and then Thursday is tomorrow going to be nuts with doing uh, interviews and podcasts and stuff. Um, so yeah, I like having one day in the middle just to be open. So just working on whatever I want to work on. Four new positions, says Biz University. Yeah. Uh, we need, yeah, yeah, we're hiring. We're getting, what are they? What are they? Uh, so data, we need someone in charge of all of our data. Our data is, we're, we're pretty good at data, but we're just, when we're updating, when you're updating 7,000 videos, it, it's easy to get lost in the data. Um, I'm someone who's doing copy, uh, helping us fix our old titles, coming up with new title ideas, uh, someone to help finish up all of our thumbnails, and then uh, someone to code. We, we ultimately have to make our own, our own software because uh, we're, we're parsing tools together, and now that it's become such an important part of, of the business, we need, we need our own custom software for it. So probably a Chrome extension... Um, Hey, Terrell, there's a, there he is in the house. Let's bring in Terrell. Uh, let's bring in some value. Anyway, yeah, exciting times. We're hiring, we're growing, we're building. My man. All right, Evan, what's going on, brother? Good, how are you? I'm liking the greenery. Look at that. I appreciate it. Thank you. You know, I'm, I'm shooting my, um, I'm getting ready to shoot my, my new course. Um, my, it's a PCS certification for coaches and speakers. Yeah. So you know how I have the, the groups on creating a um a certification course for coaches and speakers. And um so anyway, I wanted to switch up the background, put some greenery and a couple things happening. So uh yeah, I'm excited, man. Looking good, man. So what do you Thank got? How you. can I help? All right. So um one of the things, so um actually two quick things. First is um you you crushed the influencer um the influencer summit with Brenda Bouchard. Man, mm. you did you did a great job. I saw that. Um, Cause I'm gonna bring this list too, and I was like, I said, go ahead, that's my guy Evan. I love. Let's it. go, I love let's it. go, man. Yeah, baby, so, that was fun. So, so one of the things that I want to look, um, that I want to do too, I want to start doing things like that. And I don't know if he invited you or you saw that and you reached out to him, but I want to know like what is, especially when it comes to to bigger names. And I got a couple people that's kind of like my peers in this, but I want to start doing more things like that or get invited to that. So, what do you feel like either? I would need to do to either position myself or either reach out or should I be building relationships or like what would I need to do to like get interviewed and start getting on platforms like that? And I'm going to tell you why. My goal right now is I want to start like I'm down. I know my topic. I've been helping people. People been getting results, but I feel like I'm not getting enough exposure. I want to, I want to get my exposure up. So, um, and part of it, you know, I think that would be good to get invited to different summits and stuff like that. So what do you feel would be a good way to, um, you know, to, to get invited? What's the main topic that you want to speak on? <clears throat> so it's um so it's helping you grow your, your coaching career, help help you build a pro uh, profitable coaching business, coaching and speaking business. So you got to think who, you know who what are the events where they're going to talk about coaching? Oh man, you should have been on the last one. Um, Evan Pagan just did a big launch for mm. teaching people how to be coaches, which would have been I right up that. your alley. It was like last week. I was on that too. That was Friday. I was yeah, yeah this Friday. Um, so when I see that, so wait, let me pause right there. So like, let's say, cause uh, I'm a spy <laughs> secretly cause I have, um, cause I sign up to like, you know, different lists and I got a, like an alias email address. So I see the different offers and I saw Evan, Evan Pagan too. And then I also saw, um, was it Chris, um, Chris, Chris Michelson or I can't, I can't figure his name, but he focuses on coaching too. Well, yeah. anyway, um, so anyway, so like, let's say for Evan Pagan, Right. Obviously, you know, I'm not known yet. You know, I, I feel like everybody's going to hear my name within the next few years. But um, but even as I'm building this, like, how would I build that 
kind of relationship because he's not he's not gonna just invite me to come speak i don't think so like what would be a good way to kind of initiate that so for me it's just been trying to bring them value and not kind of like you can always reach out when the summit's happening and you never know right mm -hmm. um when when way back when i first started working with lily and she said she wanted to be a speaker and her goal was to have a tedx talk mm -hmm. uh She's like, okay, well, when you want to have your talks, you got to know, like, in six months or a year, it's like six months or a year, like, let's go right now. What? Mm -hmm. And I just started, <laughs> I just started, I saw, like, what was the next one coming up that was closest to us? And yep. all of that stuff closes down, you know, three, three weeks, a month before the event so they can actually plan. But whatever, I still DM them and said, hey, uh, you've got your event in two days. If anybody pulled out, as a speaker, mm -hmm. just let me know. Mm -hmm. um, even looking at Brendan's event. Um, yeah. Hold on. There was one. I just got her book. Let me show you. Uh -huh. I don't know if you know. I don't know if you've heard of, of uh, Jamie Kern Lena yet. But uh, no, not yet. Not yet. She, she's now deep into the same circles with Brendan Bouchard and those people. And nice. um, she was at Influencer last year. Mm-hmm when it was an actual event, not like a virtual right. event, right? Like in person. And somebody last minute couldn't make it. Mm. Uh, one of their speakers. And yeah. uh, Brendan was now asking his people to say, who, who do we know who can get out here on like super short notice, who yeah. can speak? And wow. she was at the event, she was in the audience. And one, like yeah. somebody knew somebody knew somebody who said, hey, you should have Jamie come up. And he doesn't just throw people up yeah, on right. stage right. that he doesn't yeah. know, but it came as a refer referral. And, yeah. and somebody pulled out, so they needed somebody. So Jamie was, was pulled up on stage, and that started the relationship. So whenever you see an event, uh, you know, like the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, and the second best time is today, right? So, yeah. so whenever you see an event, you can always reach out and say, hey, here's what I do. Uh, I'm happy to come. If anybody's canceled, I'm happy to come. Like if the event's tomorrow or, or next week or something, right. if anybody's canceled, I'm happy to come and sub in. And here's what some people have said about me. Um, are you saying that? Are you saying, are, so are you saying specifically wait to the last minute as kind no, of? No, 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 no. This oh, is like, okay. Okay. no, yes, but, but if something is coming up, if something's yeah. happening next week, you know, if Eben's thing was this Friday instead of last Friday, you reach out and say, hey, I, I see your event coming. If you need an extra speaker, here's what I talk about. If anybody cancels on you, keep me in mind. Happy to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm. And you never know, like that stuff happens. That's real. Like stuff, stuff gets canceled on people all the time. Um, so you're there. That's the like okay. immediate short term strategy for anything that's happening inside of the next, you know, 60 days. Uh, okay. Anything beyond that. Now you're trying to build relationships to get on their radar. So mm. you think about who are the people. I mean, I don't know how many summits I've done since COVID. It's like, seems like Crazy. every week there's another summit that I'm... <laughs> Uh, Boy, something, yeah. It's just bonkers, um, which is great, great opportunity, great chance to get more exposure. Now you got to pick the right ones for your brand, where you know, there's potentially coaches or people who want to be coaches, yeah. um, not like you know, like a network marketing summit is probably not going to be yeah, of a good fit for you, right? I mean, they might be coaches, they could think yeah. about coaching, but it's not really the theme. How, um, how do you, um, how are you, like, how are you in your circles? Like, how are you building those relationships? Like, what are you doing to keep those fresh? Are you sending? Are you texting? Are you saying, are you giving advice? Are you trying to are you send them a DM and say, hey, I see that you're doing this? Or like, how are you keeping those relationships? Fresh? So, so to at the start, I'm trying to just bring as much value as I can in an area that I can help them with. So, you know, when, when, um, when I'm talking to Brendan, I'm not talking about believe, right? Because he teaches it too, right? So it's right. like, I, I can't really bring as much value. Brendan, you got to believe in yourself more, man. Let's go. Come on. Like, just get started, dude. Just get yeah, yeah, started. Yeah. Come on, take that first step, right? It's like, it's a different audience, right? <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's also like when I'm, when he invited me to his, his own mastermind in Puerto Rico with like him, his homies, right? It was, so it was like Russell Brunson and Tom Billy and Lewis House and Jay Shetty and Dean Graziosi and all those guys. It's the same thing. It's like the first thought was, how am I going to help these guys? Because they teach everything that I teach, right? I mean, belief and getting started and all this stuff. They, you know, they teach it. They have their own methodologies, but, but YouTube became the path which I helped them because I'll, 
I can run circles around any of them and their teams for YouTube, right? So that became the path in to be able to help people out. And so when Brendan invited me to Influencer last week or two weeks ago, whatever it was, maybe not, yeah. maybe a little bit longer, um, I was coming on and talking about YouTube success and other people yeah. coming on talking about other things. Uh, so it's getting known for something. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna be the guy who helps coaches get their businesses started, uh, if you're going to talk an influencer, you're, you now you're thinking about okay, how do I turn? How do I go from being an influencer to being a coach? Like how do you right. how do you monetize the influence that you have on social, so that you can you can build a business? And the best way to do it is through coaching. And I'm going to help you do it. And that's kind of how you get you get known. So people are if you look at influencer, everybody coming on is talking about social in some way and how to how right. to be an influencer and gain traction your specific angles and how to turn that into money through coaching. Right. So it's right. so it's like you, the angle, what's the angle to get in and how can you bring, like it's, it's going to be harder to bring him specific value. Like Brendan, for example, yeah. doesn't need value. Doesn't need to, it's not looking for training how to be a better coach, but well, helping, for his people, for his yeah, people but I guess because he, because he people followers, like it's getting into the circle. Like how I got, how did I get into, how did I get in to see Brendan, right? Like, this is how it works. Like, it's this long, crazy path, but the more you start building connections and bringing value, the more people want to bring you in to do stuff. So, right. okay. uh, I, someone on my team DM'd Dean Graziosi like a year and a half ago to do an interview with me on my IG Live that we turned into a YouTube video. And that was the first time I ever met Dean. So, we did an IG Live together. I found that he was in Arizona. Uh, last year, when I did my tour, I was coming through Arizona. So I said, yeah. hey, Dean, let's do, you want to do a round two? I'm coming to Arizona. Let's do something together, right? He said, yeah, but the only day I have is yeah. this day, like, because I was only in there for four days. So I said, this day, but right. I'm going to be at Joe Polish's 100K event. Um, I don't know if you yeah. know Joe Polish, but he's a, he's a marketer. Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar with him. Yeah, I love marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So, so at this group, you have to pay $100,000 to be a part of his group. I heard, yeah. So... Great. So I'm, and I knew Joe, but I didn't know, I knew of Joe. I'd never met him before. Yeah. Uh, so Dean was going to be there. And so he said, the only time we can do it is at Joe's event. So, okay, great. We did it at Joe's event. I interviewed Dean in front of his 100K group. And oh, nice. uh, after that, Joe said, hey, I love what you did. Do you want to come back and be on my podcast? It's like, uh, yeah, let's film I an episode see, for your I podcast, see, right? Okay. And then okay. after that, <laughs> Uh, there's another guy who was, who was Brendan's partner, who was, who was connected to Joe that Joe, uh, made a connection to who then invited me to go speak at growth, mm -hmm. growth, growth, which was in Arizona later on. Right. Um, uh, so, so Brendan's partner who I met through Joe, who I met through Dean, right. Got me through to then speak on stage. It was me and Eric Thomas were the only two. Uh, speakers who were kind of brought in for that event. Right. That's where I met Brendan. Brendan then gives me feedback on how it went and, and advice. And he said, uh, I told him I got a new book coming out. He said, hey, when it comes up, I want to like, let me know and, and we'll jam together on it and I'll try to give you value. So yeah. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm down yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah. But I had to follow up and it's like, hey, how do you want to do it? And, and so it ended up being in Puerto Rico. So then I went to Puerto Rico and and so then after, after my I speech in Puerto how, Rico, then he invites yeah. me to his mastermind, right? So it's, it, it's like one thing becomes another. Um, mm. I met Eben because, I don't know if you know John Asraf, who's from, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. he was from The Secret, a bunch of stuff. Eben, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, John Asraf and a guy named Joe, who met me at Brendan's Puerto Rico event, mm -hmm. both recommended me to Eben's personal group, where it's Eben and his homies hanging out talking about yeah. marketing and they're all direct response guys i'm i'm you know youtube public facing guy right right uh and so they brought me in there because because they evan said i need somebody who knows youtube who do we bring on and john and joe said you need to have evan carmichael come in mm -hmm. that's how i met them right that led to me speaking last week at their launch right on mm -hmm. friday right. so how did i meet john well because i was going through san diego and I knew he was in San Diego. And I said, hey, do you want to do an interview for my channel? 
And after the interview, I stayed another hour with him and his team, helping them with their, with their YouTube stuff. Mm. Uh, so it's like, it's just, that's the building of the relationships I over see time. It. So it's like, what can you do to bring value to people uh, and their audiences so that you start being in the conversation so that you get referred into different circles, right? So you know what? That's making me think. That's making me think. There's a lot of like a, a lot of people in our space who have like coaching programs and group coaching programs, right? And um, it will be interesting to see. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of people are having like issues with like retaining clients, or you know maybe not always you know getting new clients, but different ways to keep it fresh, keep it new. So you know at the same time as you're saying that, I'm saying okay, well, what kind of value? You know, would I be able to add to these different influences where at least if I can't add value to specifically to them, at least they feel like I can add value to their audience, right? Yeah, or, or like help them build out. Like for me, I don't target people who are already, uh, well, I don't specifically target people who are already crushing on YouTube, although I've helped a lot of them grow and crush on YouTube just because if you're in thought leadership and on YouTube, I'm one of the top three guys you need to know to help build your channel. Right. Period. Right. It's like we're right. at the top. If you're doing kids ch stuff or prank stuff or like jello shots or something, I'm not your guy, but like thought right. leadership. But here's the thing. Like you could, I would be targeting influencers who don't have a coaching program or who are not doing very well at it. Cause then you become super valuable because you could just be, even if you're like, if I say I'm top three in the world, you know, at, at what I do, you don't yeah. need to be that. You could be, you could be in the top 20% and still mm -hmm. bring insane value to somebody who doesn't right. know how to make those leaps. So if you're, if you're, I'd be targeting people who have events, who have done events in the past, who uh, don't have a coaching program or don't really know what they're doing, or you just see so many holes. You look at their landing page and you look at it, it's like, oh my gosh, like these guys could use so much <laughs> right. help. Where right. you can just, you know, you're going to be able to give so much value to them and then go and help them build out their coaching program. So you're the guy who helped mm -hmm. them build their coaching program. Who now right. that when they were making a little bit of money off of YouTube ads or something, now they're, now they're making mega bucks because of what you did for them. And it's not that you have to go in and run it. You're not like calling the clients and it's you're not just a giving them. for you service, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They still got to do the work, but but you're you're guiding them. You're 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 holding their hand and helping them do it every step along the way. Um, so you become you super valuable. Are you that? making a formal or is it informal in terms of you know I'm just I'm just I'm just calling you. I'm just helping you. Or are you saying hey you know for I'm doing this for a testimony or a case study or like how what is that how are you doing how is that conversation? for me I just help. For me I just help. Like I just do it and then I get invited to a whole bunch of stuff. Right. And they they're. I have a lot of relationship capital, I guess, that I could use when I want to, when I need to for something. So I, I think I think it's just uh, there's some people who afterwards have asked for a testimonial or listen, um, they. You know, when I spoke at Brendan's event, there's a yeah. whole bunch of testimonials that Brendan gave away for free without me ever asking. Right. Like, ladies and gentlemen. This is the smartest man I know on YouTube. Heaven, <laughs> right. Karma, like, put right. your hands together right, in the intro, right? And then it's like, right. and it's on video. So if I need a YouTube, to, I don't even have to talk to Brendan anymore because we already have it on video to say, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, this is the smartest man I know on YouTube, right? <laughs> um, when he suggested that I have, uh, you know, Brendan for his book suggested having different people read the book. Like he had Larry King read a chapter, uh, not a chapter, like three lines from his book and film it. That's an awesome mm -hmm. idea will you do it for me? And he said, yes. So Brendan was my first guy. And then I got Lewis to do a read and Jay Shetty to do a read and a bunch of people to do reads off mm -hmm. of that idea from, from Brendan. So I wouldn't lead. I think if you lead with saying, Hey, here's what I want. I want a testimonial from you. It, it, uh, it's, it doesn't start the relationship off on a good, it makes it good, too transactional. Yeah. It's too transactional. Yeah. He's like, yeah. it's like you're going on a first date and you're saying, Hey, you know what? If, if, all, if this all goes well, I want to go back to my place tonight, right? <laughs> <laughs> if it goes well, like if you like the food and you like the, if I make you laugh, I want to go That's back to my place tonight, right? right. It's probably not going to go super well, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. So uh, just try to bring value. And then, and then what, um, what they end up trying to do is try to, oh my gosh, you brought me so much value. How, how, how can I help? Like, what do you need? What, 
we want to we want to reciprocate. People will just naturally want to do it. Got it. Um, got it. Got it. Okay. All right. So let me let me switch gears real quick. Um, in terms of um, following, right? So for this year, for some reason, I felt I've been stagnant. Like I've over the past, I want to say two years, I shot up the 10k followers. Right. So it's been you know I've just been hustling um, and um, a lot of things that work great. But this year, for some reason, I felt stuck on 10. Like, I, I've been stuck all year on, on 10K, and I can't seem to get past that right now. So I'm trying to figure out, like, if you had to say the top two strategies, maybe one organic and one paid, what would be the top things you would do in order to, to, to grow your um, – not, not YouTube, sorry, Instagram channel. Insta Cause Instagram cause specific? Because it, Instagram is my number one right now, so that's so for my Instagram um, channel. Yeah, a lot of people have been taking a hit in the past six to eight months uh, on Instagram. One, paid has become a big thing, so organic reach is dropping. And two, Instagram's in introduced so many features between, what do they got? They got, they got you know, it used to just be pictures, now, and then they had videos, and now they got IGTV, and then they got reels, and then they got stories, and then they got, is that it? Real stories, I don't, it's, it's impossible to stay on top of it. But like, there's so many different things, and, and then mm -hmm. they, they often prioritize the new hot thing. So if I'm you, even now, like we're, we're just adjusting our schedule to go from six a day to three a day. We've been, we've right. been floating. Like we want one a day, up to three a day, up to six a day. Now we're going back down to three a day. Um, as of like next week, you'll start seeing three a day go up. And then yeah. mixing it up between, like you have to be on, are you doing reels, for example? Um, not as much as I should, but I am doing some of it. Like you got to be doing reels. You got to be doing IGTV. Because they're prioritizing it, yeah. It's just it. Like if you're only doing pictures – then you're stuck in, in the picture algorithm, which is, it's just not going to get as, as much exposure as they used to. So you start yeah. dropping, right? So you just got to give yourself every shot to win. So what we're doing is the new schedule starting Monday is two pictures a day. Uh, one is a cartoon. So that's a whole other thing, right? Like the cartoons usually do super well. And then one is, is one that I put up myself, usually something personal that, that, I'm, that I'm coming up with. Right. Um, and then in, in, in the middle is going to be a video and the video mm -hmm. format will switch between IGTV, uh, reels in a video post, depending mm -hmm. on how long the clip is. So we're cutting up some okay. of our clips. Um, so there's a video every day. So there'll be, you know, that split and we'll see like if reels is really the thing that blows up, we'll do more reels and less video posts, et cetera, yes. but paying attention to the data, but you have to be doing all the format, all the content formats, uh, on Instagram to be able to start getting some growth. Um, okay. Two, have you done interviews with other people, like IGTV interviews or other kind no, of interviews? I was just thinking about that. I said I should start doing interviews because I, I do like the interview format. I like doing. I think I like doing interviews. Yeah. So, so I, I, I would. Having. I would definitely start doing interviews because when you go and do an IG live, it hacks both of your audiences. Mm -hmm. uh, but even more important than that is when you. Uh, clip the content. Yeah. My number one bit of advice to promote an interview afterwards and get your name out there is you turn, what, what's the date today? The 15th? I have no idea. 10th? Uh, 12th? 11th. I think it's the 11th. No idea. Yeah. 11th. Let's say the 11th. You, you, make, you make the 11th, like if we did an interview together, you take this. Yeah. Um, the 11th of every month is Evan Carmichael Day. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you clip this into a 15 mm -hmm. second story. You take like the three best moments, mm -hmm. three best moments, and you clip them in the 15 second clips. Right. You put it to your story. So November 11th is your first clip. Mm -hmm. December 11th is your second clip. Mm -hmm. January 11th is your third clip. Mm -hmm. February 11th, back to the first clip. Yeah. You just keep cycling them. So every, every 11th for the whole year is gonna be an Evan Carmichael clip coming up. Right. Make me look good, right? Yeah. It's not about you. Make me look good, <laughs> right. right? Like, what did I say? Maybe you asked a quick question, and then I gave a yeah. genius answer, and you're, like, clipping <laughs> the best parts, right? You make me look right. good, and then you tag me in the story. Mm. Right. That's a one-click share to my audience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're making, you're making my job easy. Like, now, I, normally, I'm, I have my team who's editing clips and putting it together. You've done right. the work to put it together and edit it, mm -hmm. and I'm going to share it. It's one-click share to my audience. 
Mm. So now you're hacking my audience. Like, uh, who's, this Terrell, who's this Terrell guy? Again, he's on it. Who's this Terrell guy I'm seeing pop up everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. um, and nobody remembers that you posted the same clip three months ago, right? right? Nobody's paying attention right. to that. So I would, I would definitely be trying to do interviews, but then you take those clips. And if you get 30 different interviews, like this is what I do. I don't know what we did. Yeah. Like today, maybe it was Tony Robbins. And then tomorrow yeah. is going to be somebody else, right? But then next right. month is going to be Tony Robbins again. And the next mm -hmm. is going to be Gary Vee again. So, right. and you just start working your way up to the people who you've interviewed. Yeah. And what you do is you look at who's following me. Yeah. And you say, because people who are following me know who I am. Right, of people who don't, who aren't following me, like my name will mean something to some people and means right. zero to other people, right? Right. Like if you're going after makeup or beauty or plants or something, right? right. It's like who's Evan yeah. Karma? I've never heard of that guy. Right. You look at who's following me, and then you go after those people. Mm. So they know mm. who I am. Then you use my name. I've had Evan Carmichael on my show, mm -hmm. and especially if you get somebody with like overlapping oh, audiences. Oh, you mean other influences. You mean other Yeah, influences. like you work your oh, way up. okay. Yeah, yeah. Look yeah. who follows me on Instagram. Everybody at least knows who I am if they're following me, right? It doesn't mean it's a guaranteed yes, but if you're using my name, it, it at least, least credibility. it's credibility. a little bit of credibility, right? Yeah. And so if you can match it up. So if you think of like, uh, if you really want to get to whoever, you know, uh, you really want to have Evan Pagan on your channel. You really want to have TD Jakes on your channel or, or like whoever the guy is that you need to have on. Great. You look at who they're following and then you go after those guys so that you can then go to TD Jakes and say, hey, I've got Evan Carmichael and this guy and this guy and this girl on my show. I'd love to interview you too. And they may not know who you are, right? Like I don't know who you are yet, but you had all these people who I respect and follow on your show. I'm I'm down. Like Yo, if they're gonna skip the time. Oh man, that's so great because I'm thinking because I've done interviews like like ET has came on. Um, you yeah, know, I've interviewed him for the group before. Um, you know, I've interviewed you multiple times with us, so you know my group. Um, man, this, there's a couple people now. I'm looking back like, damn, I could be taking clips of that and then sharing that, and then also going to their audience and getting more interviews based on that. Dude, you so already yeah. like November eleventh. Yeah. You know, the 11th should be Evan Carmichael Day, and then the 15th should be Eric Thomas Day. And you take your mm -hmm. top three clips, and you're every 15th, and you're tagging him. And and yeah. he may not share every one of them, but if he shares every second one, every third one, that's still exposure that's for free dope. for you. And it, and it makes you look good on your story that you're with these people, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but then, yeah, th even between me and ET, there's an overlap of audience, right? So like, mm -hmm. who's following both me and Eric that you mm -hmm. want to have on your show? Mm -hmm. that then when you, you DM them and I do mm -hmm. a video DM, DM yeah. them and say, Hey, I've had Eric and Evan on my show. I'd love to have you on too. It's or talk to my group or whatever. Too, Cause both y'all are following me. So I think it even help even more approaching them. You know what I mean? From, for, you know, for that interview. Right. But I must definitely start doing them Instagram. And I'm going to do more interviews like this. Cause um, I think that's going to, that's going to grow. Yeah. You can look at, I mean, verified accounts are an easy, an easy hack. But if you look at verified accounts who are following both me and Eric, yeah. some of those people will say yes to you. And then you just keep pulling sweaters to like get, to, get further ahead of the line. He's like, okay, now I got this, this person and this person. Now I'm going to go for that person. And again, they may not know you yet, but they recognize our names if they're following us already. And so mm. it just hugely increases your chance of getting a yes. I would, yes. I would send a text DM because the video, the video, you have to click the video and people don't want to click the video necessarily they don't know who you are. So you right. send a text. It's like, I've had Evan Carmichael and Eric Thomas and this person on my show and I made this special message for you. And then the message is a video. And in that video is you getting more personal because you're great on camera and you know how to talk. It's not like right. you're afraid of talking to the phone. It's like, right, use right. the strengths that you got, like instead of just using text. Mm -hmm. But the text is the thing that's going to show up in the screen, like yep. on, the, on their on the requests yep. so you want to mention the names that's going to mean something to them yep. and then and then there's a video personal message of you inviting yep. them and what what you like about them who you've had and, and what you want to talk about yep. yeah yeah oh my god Evan, that's, what I'm talking about. that's it dude that's it and listen that's how we got like that's how i got to dean Graziosi, which then got me into the whole other circle, right? Yeah. So like you, you, you try to do the interview with the people who could lead you down the path of speaking engagements and, uh, and events and 
talking to coaches and helping them with their business. So like the thing that helped me with Dean is I interviewed him for, for 20 minutes. And then the last 10 minutes was like, so what are you doing on YouTube, man? Like, oh my God, I don't know what we're doing on YouTube. Like, dude, you gotta be doing this and this and this and this and this and like blowing his mind with YouTube. So same thing, you're interviewing them and you say, so what are you, what are you doing for coaching? Like, do you coach people? It's like, oh man, Love it. I yeah. tried the coaching, but like I couldn't figure it out. Like, oh really, tell me about it. And now you're, you're flipping it on them where you're giving them advice and help on how to build their, right? Right, and then that leads to a call afterwards, right? Like after it was Dean's like, hey, why don't we set up a call with my team so you can, we can, you can help us because we badly need help on our YouTube channel. At the time, he had like 15,000 subscribers or something. Um, yep. and, and it was a legit like, dude, you need to be, dude. how are you only at 15,000 subscribers, right? You need to be way <laughs> up here. Like we can, right. we can help hack that, right? Yeah. yeah so that's, that's, that's a little more, that's playing more of a long game, but gets you into the yeah. right circles. Yeah. Um, but again, if something's happening next week, I still wouldn't be afraid to just DM them or message them or email them and say, hey, if somebody cancels, here's what I do. I'm a great yeah. speaker, happy to come in and give value to your audience. And you know, one out of four, one out of five of those will convert because somebody canceled yeah. and they don't know who to go to. Man, I love it. Is that yeah. the same way that um, I know you recently was doing some stuff with um, Ed Milet? Is that, is, did you use the same kind of you and Michelle kind of met through Ed Milet, so. Same thing, that... I had him on my show. Yeah. He was on my show. Uh, on, my, on my Instagram show, we turned to a YouTube video. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, he's like, hey, what do you do on YouTube, right? <laughs> and, and then I gave him some Love tips it. and advice. And then, yeah, then, I mean, I've, I've been to his house in San Diego. He, he brought me out to speak in Whistler for his, um, his group, right? You gotta pay like 50K or something to be in that group. Mm -hmm. So it was me, David Goggins, and uh, Peyton Manning speaking wow. in Whistler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and it just started with an Instagram Live that we did here. And then I helped them at the end. So, like, you ask questions for 20 minutes and then, and then try to find a way to help around coaching. If they say, no, I don't care about coaching. I don't like it. Not my model. Uh, okay, you know, you can end it there. But if they, if they have any kind of interest and they don't know what they're doing and you might be able to help them, that, be, that becomes a pretty cool conversation. Yeah. Mm. Then you get into the circles. That's it. And then people will talk and you get referred into, you know, you just keep bringing them value. And then it'll keep spiraling. Man. Yeah. This was, this was, this was super valuable, Evan, man. I, I can't, I can't, I can't tell you, you know, how valuable this was, man. And um, cause this definitely gave me some, some great insight on to, you know, how to continually move up. Cause I'm at the place to where, um, I know I got the value. I'm already changing lives. I'm already helping people. People already making money. But it's now it's like, how do I start getting the influence and start raising, you know, raising awareness up about me and how I can help, um, you know, coaches. So um, a lot of influencers yeah. have huge audiences. Like I was blown away and I know we got to go, but I was blown away. It was, I was at a YouTube event and there's a guy who had 7 million subscribers. And I asked how big his team was and he had just hired his first person because he didn't know how to make money. Like he couldn't afford to hire more than one person on his team with yep. 7 million subscribers on his channel. There's a lot of influencers who have no idea how to make money and brand deals are, are drying up and they don't know where to go. And so they've got huge influence, influence, but have no business. Like you should be a coach. Like this is who you, you need to be reaching out to and having a conversation with. You can have mm -hmm. somebody with a million followers on Instagram who's, who's barely making any kind of money. That's a fact. And if they, that's, you know what? You're super right about that because if somebody acquired something or they got some level of success in any area, at least they know how to help. They should at least know how to help somebody else make progress towards whatever area that they're, they've got success in. Right. And they just don't know how to do it. They don't know how to coaching. coach. They don't have the confidence. Yeah. They don't, they don't have the That's systems. Coaching. Like right. you're not going to teach them how to coach their thing. You're going to teach them how to be a coach and build a business model. Right. right? Exactly. Like you could teach somebody how to, how to be a coach for people want to become, you know, people in the plant industry great you don't have to know anything about plants but you know the structure and the systems and, and how to build a business around coaching yeah, yeah i know come to me, but so like, you don't have to be to the beauty influence like all those beauty influencers you don't have to be you don't have to know anything about beauty although you look pretty dope but you don't have to know anything about beauty because <laughs> <Right. laughs> you got the systems right so right and, they need and, they need help making money and then if you're the guy who's helping people make all this money you get brought up into all these different circles Evan, I appreciate it. Um, this Make it happen, helpful. dude. All right. Much uh, love, right. man.
We'll talk right, soon. I appreciate it. Oh, Ev, real quick. One, what? Um, this is not a question. It's not a question. But what I want to say is, um, for I guess technically it is, but this is something different outside outside of this. You went to the mastermind with Brendan. What he, What was one takeaway that you when you was in Puerto Rico? What's one takeaway you got from the mastermind? Because I know you was with all of these these bright minds. You was with Jay Shetty. You was with you know Lewis Howes. It's, it's marketing. It's marketing. Like. That the one takeaway why like these are all geniuses and like I can hang with them and it's marketing. Mm. Like they're genius marketers and I gotta I gotta get better at marketing. <laughs> yeah. Like the next level of marketing beyond yeah. what I've already done, right? It's the next level. Mm, love it. Okay. I gotta go, man. Much love. We'll talk Appreciate to you soon. It. Thank you, Ed. Okay. See you, man.